Okay, so a lot of you have been asking about how to apply a transfer. The transfer that I'm using is one of the redesigned small transfers and the name is Classic Christmas. And I just cut a small little holly leaf with a pine cone. And as you can tell on this, um, can you show the top part? It's just a small little Christmas craft that I'm making. And I just wanna add a little embellishment to this little stoneware jar. Now, the important thing is that you make sure your surface is clean and free of any type of wax or buildup. I'm gonna take this part out. And I like to work on um, a flat surface so it doesn't like roll around on me. So I just laid down a towel and I just feel like it makes it you know, more sturdy. So I, I usually use like Fusion's TSP substitute to wipe down my surfaces beforehand, but you can use like rubbing alcohol or something like that too, just to make sure that your surface is clean. But the one thing that I wanna emphasize is when you're working over something like this or glass, you can't reposition these transfers. So you wanna make sure that you put it down the, where you want it the first time, because once you apply it, it's gonna stick there. So you just peel off this little piece of plastic, and then this part is where you discard. You just put that away, and let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and position it I'm gonna to try to center it. And I take my time right here. And a lot of times what I do is I'll just set it down. And then when I'm working on a, a curved situation like this, and I do a lot of like teapots and round things, instead of like pushing it down right away, I'll take my finger and I'll put it in the middle. And then I'll work from the, the middle and I'll work my way out. Because a lot of times you're gonna get like, the surface is gonna to wanna to pull and that's how a lot of people get like tearing on their transfers. And that's because they try to push it down with their hand all together at one time. So if you work from the center and work, you know, out, I find it works so much better. And I'm just using my finger right now. But you can use your transfer tool as well. These little ones are super easy to use. So this is the stick that comes with it. So now I'm going to just put a little bit more pressure. And when I go to peel it back, that's when I'm gonna to check to make sure that it's adhered to my um, stoneware all the way. And if you ever lose your stick, you can go ahead and use like a old gift card, a credit card, an old paint stick, anything that you can just apply some more pressure. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna to check to make sure that it has transferred. So I like to work on a corner and I slowly start peeling up and I can look, see how I can tell right there that it's still on the plastic part? Then I know that it has not transferred all the way. So I'm gonna set it back down onto my surface and I'm gonna go ahead and rub it some more to make sure that it transfers back onto the stoneware. And sometimes this happens, especially on the edges. So I just got to be a little bit more patient, especially a slippery surface like this. Now I check slowly and see how it's on my jug. Great, because when I'm all done, I'm gonna burnish it with my finger and then make sure it's pushed down all the way. So I slowly lift it and check. So you wanna be patient in this part because people tend to rip the plastic up real fast and that's when they pull their transfer and they have issues. But if you slowly start checking and going back down, that's when you can have a perfect flawless um, transfer onto your image, I mean from your image onto your surface by just giving it a little bit of time. So I'm just, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at this side to make sure that there's no color over here. That means everything's over here. Worst case scenario, if you ever mess up, you can always layer transfers, so you could put another transfer on top of it, or you could lay the plastic part back down and then try to, you know, put it where you pulled up and, you know, messed up the section. So it's not like the end of the world. This one's being a little bit more stubborn than normal. And I think it's because my surface is so slippery. Like if this was just like a glass window or something, that transfer would have wanted to stick immediately. But this was like a slippery surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on this end 
that might make it a little bit easier for me. Okay, now it's not done yet. It looks good, right? But you wanna take your finger, and this is called burnishing it, and you're just gonna push down and rub, and this is removing any air bubbles, and also making sure that your transfer is completely now pushed down onto the surface. Now, if this was a piece of furniture, you're gonna to wanna to seal the transfer and put like a clear poly, um, I love using poly vines decorators varnish, or you could use like a clear wax, but because this is like a decorative, you know, jug that's just gonna sit for decor, I'm not gonna go ahead and seal this. I'm just gonna leave it as is. But basically, you guys, it is all done. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, put my little artificial tree back in, and that's it. That's how easy it is to do a little transfer on any surface. As long as your surface is clean and free of waxes or buildups, your transfer will adhere to it. I hope that helps you out. Have a great night.